Yeah, today was not a really good match for me. Um, I think it's really hard to recover from those night matches because after beating world number one, I went to sleep at like five in the morning. And still you like sleep for, I don't know, maybe like eight, seven, eight hours, but you completely don't recover. And yesterday the whole day I felt very like low energy. And I thought today I was like going to wake up and feel better. But, honest, but honestly, I, I didn't really feel much better. Okay, thank you very much. Name and affiliation, please. Brian. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Obviously, you're a very aggressive player, but I'm curious whether the heat played a role in some of the unforced errors. Not really the heat, but it was very hard to see the ball because half of the court was in the shadow and half was in the sun. And some balls I didn't really see like where they were flying. So I was trying to like focus more on where is the ball, but it was really hard to see, especially on, on the returns. I felt like I was reacting too late because of the shadow. Okay. Matt? Uh, Matt Butterman from the New York Times. How was Coco different today than other times you've either seen her play or played against her? Honestly, there were so many games where I had chances and I missed some, like, really, as as I think, easy balls. And uh, I think my concentration was not there comparing to, to the matches I played. I think she was also very nervous today. And, uh, I mean, still the score is... Uh, is what it is, but uh, there were so many games, deuce advantage, deuce advantage, that I could really win. Steph. Stefan Bondi, New York Daily News. You seem disappointed with your effort. I mean, when you say your concentration wasn't there, was that just because you were tired, as you mentioned before, or was there something else going on? I didn't really feel like, physically very tired, but uh, I felt like I didn't really recover from that night because, as I said, I got back to the hotel around like 2 a.m., and even I, I tried to go to sleep at three in the morning, but I had all this adrenaline and it was impossible to feel asleep. And then when you go to sleep at five or six in the morning, uh, the whole day, or you need a few days just to recover. I think it's a little bit crazy. Okay, Willie. Willie Weinbaum from ESPN. You just said it's a little bit crazy. Are you referring to the scheduling? And if so, what do you suggest? I mean, if I play a match, like a late night session, then I suppose in one day I have to play in at least at the same time or later on because you don't really have much time to recover. Even you have this day in between, but you still need to practice to do your things, to, to do the treatment and stuff. So I think uh, it was better for her, the schedule, because obviously she played much earlier uh, the day I played the night session. David. David Kane, Tennis.com, were you asked about the scheduling before it was released, and were you surprised when you found out? The thing was that when I asked the day before, I was pretty sure I'm going to play at night session because that's what they told me. And when the schedule came out, I saw I'm playing first match, and I was like, wow, that's a little bit strange scheduling. This is the quickest turnaround you've experienced at a Grand Slam? Honestly, I thought at least maybe I play second, or I thought our match will be an interesting match, and they would probably put it as a night session, especially she's from here and uh, yeah, when I saw the schedule, I was a little bit surprised, not in a really good way. Andrew. Andrew Jones, ESPN and Skate. And Lena, despite the frustrations, you had the hug and embrace with her at the net. How was that bond at the net with her? And what did your coach and Ernest, your trainer, talk to you about after the match in terms of you dealing with this quick, crazy turnaround? I didn't talk to anyone after the match yet, so I just went to shower and uh, yeah, stretch a little bit, so I didn't see anyone after the match yet. Brian. Uh, following up, obviously, you weren't capable of playing, I guess, the way you wanted to with the court turnaround, but I'm curious from, have you noticed a growth in her game from the last time? Honestly, I was expecting a little bit more from her today. I felt like uh, she had a little bit, like, a lot of pressure because obviously to play at home is not easy, as I experienced it before myself. But... Uh, yeah, I think she maybe changed a little bit the tactics. I mean, I, she's a great player. She's still very young. But, uh, I mean, as I said, the, the score is what it is. But uh, so many games, especially in the second set, I had so many chances. And I was missing the balls, which I normally am not missing. So, yeah. Um, when, when you said they told you that the match would be a night match, was that, that was yesterday? Uh... No, that was, I think, uh, after the the match I played, I think. Like right after? Okay. Um, yeah. Was Is that common? I mean, forgive me for my ignorance. Is that common, common that they tell you it's going to take, <clears throat> match is going to take place at one time and then 
to switch it up? I mean, you never know with the the people who are doing schedule because sometimes you feel like you better don't ask anything because sometimes it's working your way or sometimes it's working against you completely. So it depends okay. where and how it's going to work. So Last question, Andrew. Despite today, once again, you beating Iga and always showing that you're a threat to anybody on tour, is that still the biggest takeaway for you is that no matter what tournament, I can still win a second Grand Slam and still be so dangerous to anybody? I mean, of course, I, I believe that I can win another Grand Slam. And uh, as I said, uh, I didn't have much time to recover. And uh, yeah, in general, maybe I have to be happy with the week and uh, with a few weeks and just move forward. But yeah, of course, I'm disappointed about today because I really feel like I didn't even play half of what I played the whole tournament. So, yeah.